9.30 Central, 10.30 uh, Eastern. We start in New Hampshire. Maggie Hassan holds on as the U.S. Senator. Uh, they are massive ticket splitting uh, in New Hampshire. Uh, Don Bulldog, uh, a very uh, extreme version of a Trump supporter uh, on the Republican side, uh, failing there. Uh, Brittany Peterson winning in Colorado. This was a stretch district if Republicans we're going to have a massive night, and now uh, just a few minutes into the polls closing in Colorado, uh, Brittany Peterson, the projected winner in Colorado's 7th House District. Virginia 10, Jennifer Wexton holds on. Uh, the fact that we're talking about this is significant, uh, and the fact that she is holding on as the projected winner in Virginia's 10th, that's up near Washington, D.C., is extraordinarily significant. Over Hung Cow. Uh, this was a President Biden plus 19 district. And as you can see right now, Wexton is up by about uh, five points. As we come over to the smart board here, uh, continuing our coverage on News Nation of the midterms, the red wave uh, that Republicans had been talking about and hoping for over the past couple of weeks and days. Uh, simply isn't materializing. A uh, red wave would have concluded the New Hampshire Senate race. Uh, that didn't happen. We'll check in on the New Hampshire House race uh, right now. Zoom in uh, on New Hampshire. Uh, the first uh, congressional district, Caroline Levitt uh, of the Trump administration, uh, trailing Chris Pappas, the incumbent Democrat, uh, significantly uh, there. We started the night talking about uh, the three Virginia House races, uh, as we just said. Uh, Jennifer Wexton uh, holds on. This was the far stretch. Uh, if there was going to be a red wave, uh, Wexton would have lost. She did not. Wins now, uh, right now at least, uh, by almost six points. Uh, Abigail Spanberger, uh, this was the middle of the road. Was it going to be a good or great night uh, for Republicans? And she is now ahead uh, by a decided five points. Still too early to call that. Uh, and then in Virginia's second uh, congressional district, Elaine Luria, uh, she's behind 10 points. Uh, she's a member of the January 6th committee. Uh, and this is sort of the swingiest of swing districts as we zoom in uh, on Virginia. This is what they call Hampton Roads, the area uh, down by Norfolk, the naval base there in Hampton Roads, uh, a big military district that President Biden only won by three points. Uh, as you can see there, uh, Elaine Luria is behind uh, significantly. And Chris, uh, this just sort of continues uh, the theme. And I think you'd have to, uh, any fair-minded person looking at New Hampshire, uh, Virginia 10 falling as well. Uh, and at least the text messages I'm getting from uh, Republican sources, Republican campaign folks and data folks, uh, there is a, a significant amount of air being let out of the balloon. And uh, there is some discussion of conceding bets early in the hopes of being able to cash out without, without significant penalties as, uh, as they try to uh, reel back in their projections. Uh, the Democrats are going to have a story to tell. Yeah. Uh, let's see what they do with it. Messaging has been a little bit of a problem for them. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.